my second thread up box came i got a couple questions on the one i posted well today it's yesterday but who knows when i post this when it's going to be the last one i posted of the thread up boxes um how i got them i in my group texas gals jewelry lovers a lot of times when they go live people will will post like hey they're up i i don't know when they go up they're not on goodwill ones they normally go up on friday afternoons or evenings uh, thread up is just question mark who knows when and so it was random I've missed the last I don't know how many of them but I happened to get the last the last batch that came through and uh, same thing with bo the goodwill boxes it's hit or miss sometimes I get it sometimes I don't so I'm gonna open this one up and we'll just see how it goes the last one was pretty good so I'm optimistic one, two, three, pull, bonk Okay, so here we go. Rip her open. Bubble, 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 toil and trouble, right? Cauldron burn and cauldron bubble or whatever. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. They've been, the last one had these in there too. Thank you. I will use that. I will use that. Okay. Ooh la 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 la. Let's do first impression. This bag looks kind of cloudy, so it's hard for me to see through it. Hmm. This black bracelet looks pretty interesting. It looks like octopus suckers. That's kind of exciting. There's some kind of velvety necklace. There's some stars. I like stars. All right, let's flip this puppy over. Tassels! Of course. There's some little cutesy pootsy basket over here. Or is it a stamp? What is it? What is it? Oh, that looks cute. Whatever it is. I'm excited about that. Okay. So I see a couple things that look like interesting and fun. We're going to dive in. Here we go. necklace here that has these pearly beads and there's a bunch of little bits that have fallen out and they're loose in the here see loose in the bag so I'll just be putting all of this stuff off to the side I mean they're usable somebody could totally rebuild something cool out of it but ugh, there's some bonus here no get off me Ooh. okay so this I'm going to put into a lot. They make good sound though. Good sounds. You put these off to the side. I mean, they're nice little beads and all. You again. Trash. Then we've got this bangle bracelet. This one will just go to a lot. Now this necklace. kind of cool it's got this gold tone chain and then these beads have sort of like a, a fern coral so these beads let me see if you can see they kind of have like this fern or coral look to them like the design on them and they're they're pretty heavy they're they're maybe solid or slightly hollow but they're definitely heavier than they look they're pretty cool. I like that. Very understated, but also pretty cool. So I think I'm going to sell this necklace. Next, this necklace is also very cool. Look at this one. Back it out. So these are, hmm, they're not dogwood. Gardenia? What do you think? What kind of flowers are those? I'm leaning towards, dogwoods are four, right? Gardenias? They've got these, or maybe like a poppy, a different variety of poppy. Those are pretty cool. I like this a lot too. So I will definitely sell this one as well. I'm trying to figure out, once I figure out what flower they are, I'll know how much I'll uh, sell it for because there are certain people that love that a certain variety of flower and whatever this one is, maybe, I mean, probably 30 bucks at least. Next, we've got this. Oh, he's starting to come apart or she. 
the other foot is gone, but this beaded necklace with a little girl on it, maybe boy. It's cute. Um, I don't know, because it's missing its other foot. I might just put this into a lot. We have a stretchy pearl bracelet. And it's, I mean, uh, it's missing part of its ball there. Eh, it'd probably have gone into a lot anyway. Then, oh, you're fun. Well, now you're all twisted, aren't you? So, this necklace is fun. It's got all of these really blingy panels, I guess, sort of like little panels, sections. Yeah, that's cute. And this is a loft piece, so Ann Taylor loft, if you can see that. There, it says loft. So yeah, that's one I'll sell. It looks like it's got all of its little stones. Yeah, I'll have to look this one up because depending on the brand, it might go for a, a good amount, so nice. And then we've got this little silver necklace. It has these little silver tube beads, barrel closure. And then the pendant on it is a little heart dream catcher with a feather. And I'm pretty sure this is silver. I'll have to double check. At any rate, it's super cute. Ooh, here we go. Next up, we've got this Liz Claiborne necklace. It's plastic, but it looks, you know, like a crystal-y type necklace with all these geometric beads nice so yeah that's one i will definitely sell as well this is like our third or fourth bonus hair i tell you what <clears throat> all right so yeah another good seller yay ah, more beads more <gasps> whatever it was there was a lot of them more bonus hair holy moly this necklace just like the one from the other day it's shedding little beads when i pick it up well, there were some that were falling off. Anyway, yeah, I might have to figure out. Yeah, see, there it goes. Shedding more, shedding more. So I'm gonna put that just into a lot as well. This is really pretty. It's got these like peacocky colors, purples and blues and greens and golds on this twisty kind of beaded necklace. And then it's got kind of a jelly belly. I know it's not technically a jelly belly, but it's got this Big cabochon sparkly tummy. It's plastic, but it's super pretty. Gold and green, kind of a peridot green with the eyes on this owl. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, I could see someone really loving this. So I don't think I'll have a problem selling that at all. It's adorable. It's beautiful. Now then, what is this? What have we here? Oh, this is one you know I'd have it on my head. Right now, <laughs> if we were cameras up, it looks like another Liz Claiborne. Yeah, there's the tag for that one. This is really pretty. So it's got, you can't see it. <laughs> Was it like that the whole time? Sorry. So it's got these leaves and then one side of the chain has these little baubles, adorable. And the other side of the chain said, I think that's enough. We'll just have a chain on this side. But I think this is one that I will definitely sell. Again, I don't think there'll be any trouble selling it. Looks good. All the pieces are there. Gorgeous. Again, the stretch is meh. The stretch is meh on this one. So that's going to go to a lot. More of these. I mean, if I were a jewelry maker, I would just pop them all back together in some shape or manner. Way shape or manner? How's the saying go? Anyway, that's all going to go to a lot. I see more sparkles in my future. Oh my goodness. Shimmy, shimmy. There you go. Ooh la la. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. So <laughs> this one's really pretty too. This has got these, they're plastic, you know, cabochons, but they're kind of like, they remind me of like sherbet right like orange sherbet or i don't know anyway they're swirly and cute and pretty these are all like separated layered and graduated definitely cute definitely a good statement necklace i can see this selling no problem next up this one's cute 
would have probably sold okay, but that's got some missing petals. Somebody was saying, he loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, oh forget it. I give up. Get him out of here. <laughs> All right, next up is this bracelet. I Lately I have not been selling bracelets like this, but this one I might. My reason is the coloring. I love the wood colors, the wood, I love the blues and the teals and the browns all together. There's some green in there. I think the coloring is what might sell this, definitely. And the memory wire, you know, because it's adjustable for people's wrists. This might actually be a better seller than some of the other ones like this that I've seen. So yay. So far so good. The box, the box giveth and the box taketh away. Luckily right now it hasn't taken taken away yet. Okay. Ooh. We've got lots more bonus hair. This is like the bonus hair box. Ugh. Ugh. Let's talk about this necklace. Let's talk about it. I hear feet. Hang on. So I know I've come across these red, they're like seeds or something, right? But I actually like this. I know I've come across necklaces with these on there before that I'm just like, no, I'm gonna sell that. But I, again, it's all about the coloring on this one, the texture, the feel. I could see someone really liking this like layered black necklace with these red, they almost form like little flowers, see? And so yeah, I could definitely see someone really liking this. So I am going to for sure sell that. I like it. Hmm. This is one also that I thought, when I first saw the beads, I was like, okay, cool. The cobalt blue, the black, that might be a winner. But you know how weird I am about fabrics and grodiness. Look at that. The fabric on these, the string is so frayed and gross in spots that these glass beads are going to go to my sister. So this bracelet, oh darn, I'm, hmm, curses. I was like, ooh, I will sell this. The pastels, the turquoise, the pinks, come on. I was like, for sure, and then we swing it around and then there's a, like a crack there where it's kind of come apart. I mean, do you think that would, have? I think that would affect the value, personally. Err, that's frustrating. So this I'll probably end up putting in a lot. Yeah, it looks like there's just a little piece that popped out or something. Dang it. This one, see how it's got all these panels? This one's really nice. I like that red on this one. It's kind of like a tomato soup color, right? Mm-mm, good. So this is, a, this is one I'll definitely sell. That red, I love. That orangey, tomato soupy red. Oh, it makes me want tomato soup now. And a nice grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> Alright, next up is this beaded bracelet. Uh, I've sold some of these in the past. I'll probably put this one into a lot. It might sell, but it might sit for a little while. So probably just going to go to a lot with this one. Then, oh, hang on you. Can't wait your turn. We've got another Liz Claiborne, new with tags. This is one that's got these faceted kind of satellite discs along the way. That one I will sell. Ugh, this is gorgeous. Bring it in, peeps. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. So, this beautiful teardrop pendant with marcasites around the sides, possibly a citrine in here. I, I need to, I'll probably get my gem tester out at the end. Because as you can see, it's kind of darker at the top, darker orange, and then more of a lighter, like yellowy at the bottom. So almost an ombre effect. And then I'm looking for a mark on it. It looks like a 925 right in there. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then the marking on there, I can see the 925 Italy from here. It's really well marked. Yeah, that is beautiful. You know what? I don't know if I want to wait. I'm going to go get my uh, gem tester. <laughs> so, got the tester out. Here is my necklace down here. And when I hold it, uh oh, when I hold this on, it looks like it's falling on glass. It's weird because the first couple times I did it, it did inch up closer to where the tourmaline was. 
So I thought perhaps it was tourmaline. Unless I need to calibrate my machine, it keeps falling on glass each time. So, gorgeous darlings. Anyway, I will still have no problem selling this. It's beautiful. It's kind of like got this ombre golden yellow, golden orange, sterling silver, marcasites along the edges. Beautiful. I, ooh, what do I think I'll sell it at? At least 40 bucks, even with just a big faceted glass in the middle. It's beautiful. Somebody donated a lot of Liz Claiborne new with tags jewelry. So we've got this one. Look at bonus hair. Holy moly. This one is cool. It's got a like a nautical theme. Naughty. Naughty, naughty, nautical. We've got a, I guess it's like one of the, not the wheels, but the, the life hoop thing. The life hoop, right? That sounds like life alert. It's got a key, the steering wheel. What do you call it? Life preserver. There it is. Okay, so another one of these Liz Claiborne. I know for a while there, nautical stuff was big, but I don't know if it still is anymore. But hey, everybody's got their thing, right? Cool. This is a gross bag. The bag will go, for sure. But the choker is cute. I think I might actually try to sell it. It's denim with these gold stars on it. Yeah, the bag is out. The choker, yeah, that might be a seller. I like these beads, oh, wait, listen. I think they're like ceramic beads. They're cold to the touch. They're not, you know, not glass or anything. They're pretty cool. I'll probably give these to my sister to make something with. Listen. I like the sound. They make good sound. <laughs> this is important. Must make good sound. Okay, we have a tortoise shell necklace. So we've got this oval, a little cutout, these tortoise shell discs, and then some carved long panel type beads. So that's interesting. So this is one I'll definitely sell as well. Very cool. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, Dolly. This is Lewis Dolly. It's so nice to have you back where you belong. You're looking swell, Dolly. I can tell. Dolly, you're still showing. You're still growing. You're still showing. Something strong, going strong. This is broken, which is the biggest shame ever. Look at this, beautiful. All of these like sequency flowers. Oh, and it's not even like, like the, the, the jump ring is still there on this piece, but the whole part right there where it's supposed to go, like it is on that side, is completely gone. Oh my gosh, but here's the deal. Like if you took that off, you could, like this one comes off, that could be a necklace by itself. Take this one off and just have it hang like that. I wonder if I could break that little bit off right there. I bet I could. And then take these off of here and make little beret. I may try to play with this one because this is so magnificent. So magnificent that I might like take that. Oh, it looks like there's a flower missing there, darn it. <sighs> what to do, what would you do? What would you do? I don't know what I would put there even. Maybe I'll dig through the bag, see if whatever's missing, maybe it's a bling that's missing from there. Because then these could go like on a barrette, right? Wouldn't that be a really pretty barrette? I think, I would wear it. And then this would be a really pretty ginormous pendant. I'm gonna see on this one. This was from J. Crew. Good job, J. Crew. Looking good. Ooh, we have a fancy diaper pin. Who's got a diaper, baby? Who needs a diaper pin? Who's got a diaper, baby? I've got a blingy, blingy pin for you. This is like for baby Princess Charlotte, right? From <laughs> the Windsors. They have diaper pins that are bejeweled and bedeweled. Bedeweled? Bejeweled. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, with pearls and diamonds, darling. Nothing but the best, even for your smelly diapers. So, uh, this is really cute. I'm gonna definitely sell it. I know it's not really a diaper pin, but it kind of looks like it. Give me, you gotta give me that, right? No, I don't. Oh, look what I found. I found this that I can totally just glue back on there. When? So I'm gonna glue that back on. I'm gonna make this into a pendant. I'm gonna take that off and find some way to clip her off that jump ring or that piece right there. And then I'm gonna see about making these two into barrettes or even earrings. Wouldn't those be fantastic earrings, right? Like having that, I mean, they're big and beautiful and oh my gosh, maybe I'll do that. Cause then I could just take this off and make these two into marvelous earrings, darling. Come here, we're gonna have fun. You go over there. We've got another new with tags. This one is Lake Shore Drive, a brand I've never heard of, but it's really pretty. I could definitely see someone liking this. It looks very elegant, très élégant. Right? So nice little scalloped edges around these faceted drops. Oh, very pretty, very pretty. I could totally see someone really loving this one. All right, that's a seller. Sassy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. This is my sassy, sassy tassel song. Ah, you are stuck, sassy tassel. All right, look at these two sassy tassels. These are actually you know, normally I would say these look really like dirty tassels, but these are actually pretty clean. The, the edges on that maybe could be better, but overall, overall these are kind of like silvery gray. And I know you could probably trim them up and fix them, but well, I think they're okay. Uh, this part I don't know about though. That part looks a little bit worn. Oh no, oh no, now we're talking booty tassels. We're not, we're not so sassy anymore. So this, that is why, no. Okay, that I was like, no, and then I turn it, no. This I was okay-ish with the frayed on the bottom. I was like, maybe it's not too bad, but uh-uh, no. That looks gross. It's like, no, okay. So <laughs> those are going to go to a lot. Maybe somebody else can fix them and make them beautiful again. Then we've got an Alex and Annie bracelet. This one says young and strong. Okay, you don't have to be a show off. Fine, you're young and strong. It says energy. Okay, still showing off. This one is, what does that say? Char Charity by design. And then the, the flag, what is this one for? I'm gonna feel really bad if it's like, I am a young cancer survivor, and now I have young and strong. That's probably what it is, and I've just been really horrible. Or, in my mind, it's some young whippersnapper that's showing off, saying, look at my charm bracelet. I'm young and strong. Suck it, old lady. All right, fine. <laughs> I'll sell it. I'll look it up first. Ooh, this is a really cool chain. It's very snake-like, but it's kind of squared off. It's very cool. It's got a good heavy weight to it. I love it. I love, love, love it. It's not silver, I don't think, but I don't think it matters. I think it's gorgeous. I feel like, I mean, just feeling it, it feels good. You know, it feels it's really heavy for its size. It's heavy, it feels really slinky in your hands. I just, I would sit and play with it, you know? It's like, I can just rope it around my fingers, no problem, right? It's so cool. I mean, it feels like one of those, like, toys that you can just play with, you know? Ta-da! Ta-da! It's cool. All right, so this one I will definitely sell. I don't know how I'm gonna sell all those fantastic features of this cool necklace, but it's awesome. Okay, we got another one. This one is an Alex and Annie, is that an Omega, Mega, Omega, Mega? <laughs> I don't know what the M is. Is the M Mega, Omega, Mega? All right, 
Anyway, it's for some sorority, I'm sure, that I don't know about. And it's got a bit of wear to it, but maybe it'll still sell. Ah, we've got a beautiful locket. <sighs> okay, so we've got this really sweet gold locket with a cross on it. It's got one little stone here. It looks like the stone is missing there. Oh, there's another stone there. Let's see, there's the back of the locket. Nice little cross. Anybody home? Knock, knock. It's supposed to play music. Darn it. Uh, well, I guess it needs a new battery. I don't know what song it plays, but that would have been cool to find out. Okay, so then let's get this magnet working. So it is magnetic. However, I think it's very cool. I don't think I'll have too much trouble selling it, even with the missing... Is it one missing stone? Yeah, the missing stone. I think because it, it's not that noticeable, and the rest of it's in such good shape. The stone's on the back. Okay, cool. Why not? Sure, why not? Nobody can see it, but hey, go for it. So yeah, it'd be cool. I don't know how to change the battery in that, but that's really pretty. I think that'll sell. Okay, so next up we've got this little H necklace. It's sweet. It's, it's a little bit tangled up still. I'll have to get that untangled, but I think this is something that might sell. Uh, people like their letters, their initials, so that's pretty cute. And this one, these are little glass beads, so I'll probably give that to my sister. Hmm, what do you think about that? Let's check the stretch. Ooh, the stretch is strong with this one. Oh, I'm on the fence. I like these colors. However, I'm not a fan of this kind of necklace. I'm bracelet. I mean, maybe others are. <laughs> I don't know. The foil is rubbing off. It looks like, no, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm gonna try it. I think this one with the colors, it's got good coloring. Maybe I'll go ahead and try to sell this one. Ooh, we've got another Alex and Annie. This one has got a lotus flower with the ohm symbol in it. So that's a seller. It's got a little wear. I need to reshape it a bit, but overall, pretty good. Now, here you are, you beautiful thing. Look at this. This looks like octopus suckers, right? It's a plastic bangle. Wow. I'm like, I'm, I'm considering like, how am I gonna describe this? It's super unique, so different, so cool. I just love it. I, I'm gonna have to sit on it and think about it for a minute because this is the kind of thing that is just so super unique that I love to sell. Hmm, what do you think? Octopus suckers? They almost remind me of like when you see old dinosaur movies, Land Before Time, there's these craters that are filled with like lava that are bubbling up. They're all like little lava craters bubbling. <laughs> all right, next. This is the kind of necklace I, hmm, what do you think? I'm gonna try to sell this one. I don't normally, like especially the this color it kind of reminds me of howlite this is put together interestingly you know kind of like festooned like right here it's kind of festooning uh and i think i think as i look at this and i think i would look terrible in this it would just get swallowed up on my pale skin but i have to consider no somebody else with a lovely complexion would look really good in this. Cause yeah, if I wore this, it would be like, Margaret, why don't you wear any jewelry today? What I am. Oh no, I can't see it. But <laughs> so I think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try it and sell this one. I'm gonna push myself to try it. Ooh, more pretties. Okay, so this is another pretty necklace that has these medallions. They all appear to be complete. All the stones seem to be there. And there is a hang tag, looks like a J. Crew. Yep, this is a good bag, y'all. So a nice festooning J. Crew necklace. Love it, gonna sell it. My pile for, for my lots, not very much. It's about to grow though, because here is this. <laughs> I mean, this is in actually pretty good shape, the velvet choker. Hmm, what do you think? Maybe I'll hang on, because there's a maroon one as well. Burgundy, maroon? Maybe I'll hold on to these in case I find a nice, like, goth-looking pendant I can hang from them. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, I'm gonna put these to the side to find a cool pendant or a nice, like, pearl drop. Wouldn't that be pretty? 
Yes, yes it would. And then we've got a brooch in here. I saw a maker's mark. Let's come in closer, children, and let's see what we've got. Now, we've got pinks and reds and facets and bling and flowery looks. We flip it over, we've got a brooch, and I think that says Regency. Where did my loop go? Does it say Regency? Yes, Regency, which I, I've heard of this before, but I'm gonna have to look again. This may be something super good, maybe something that's like, meh, it's okay. But I am gonna definitely sell it. I think it's beautiful. Wow, we've got a good bag here, or box, whatever. There's some more of these, that'll go to my sister. Ooh, another pretty one. Ooh, this one is nice. So we've got this necklace, another J. Crew. Cool. And it's got again these little panels that are dropping down with navy and kind of like what color? Kind of like a turquoisey teal color. And a dark, oh there is a stone missing right there. Darn it. Okay, so that'll go to a lot. Just takes one. Ah, look at these earrings. They look kind of like stylized wings. Those are fun. I'll definitely sell those. I guess they're wings. Stylized? Perhaps. Perhaps. All right, then we've got a box clasp. And let's see what the rest of your necklace looks like. Do we have a tassel? Do we have a sassy tassel? Or is it a, a lariat? Or what, what have we? Oh, why, why, why? Why are you tangling? All right, I have a philosophical question to ask you. Philosophical question. How many strands does it take to make a tassel? I feel like two is not enough. Would you call this a tassel? I don't know. I'm not sure that I would. It doesn't feel right. I can't like sassy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. This is not a tassel, tassel song. Not tassels. They don't pull, so they're not like lariats either. Anyway, it's cute. It's got sort of tassel. And then this cool little medallion. I don't know, it's nice, I'll sell it. Then we have this gorgeous brooch. So I'm looking on the back to see if I find any maker's marks. No, nope. let me show you the front. Oh. So it's got this really cool kind of floral, almost medallion look to it. Isn't it really pretty? Ooh, look at all the sparkles. I don't collect brooches much, but this is one that I kind of like. I feel like it would look really pretty like on a denim jacket, just to kind of zhuzh it up, you know what I mean? Really fancy it up. I don't know, that, I might catch and release that one. I think it's super pretty. Now, look at these earrings. They, you can not see through them. They are translucent and they are big. They're like stained glass windows. Hang on. They're like stained glass windows that you can catch the light through. They're big. Oh, they're kind of peacockish with the way that the colors and enamels are, but they're, they're not like peacock colors, really. But they're super pretty. Oh, they're way too big for me, I think. But I really like them. I think somebody's gonna look amazing in them. These, oh, they're geometric. They're kind of cool. I'm gonna put them in a lot. Got some more Alex and Annie. This one has a cute little sea star, starfish. It almost has like a wax stamp look to it. Is this an Alex and Annie? No, this one is Alex and Annie style. That says love on it. What's the other side? Love. So Annie, Alex and Annie kind of style. This is an Alex and Annie. That's got the initial J. Cool. Someone was a fan. Now we've got a sassy tassel. Sassy tassel. Sassy, sassy tassel. This is my sassy, sassy tassel song. Okay. And that's kind of fun. It's got a little wood block and then a sassy tassel. Yeah, that's fun. I'm trying to think of like, why is there a, why? I mean, that's a choice. Why do we go with wood? If I were teaching a jewelry class and one of my students brought this to me, I would ask them, why'd you go with wood here? I'd like to hear your reasonings. What's, the, what's the story behind this piece? Well, miss, I was reminiscing back to my kindergarten days and I used to like to build with blocks. And then my teacher would get really upset because I wasn't doing my work. I was just, you know, 
playing with blocks. And so she would come along, this is back when corporal punishment was okay, and she would take her her whip, her riding crop, and swack me with it. And so I was just thinking about that while I was fiddling with my jewelry. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Sus, another sassy tassel. Sassy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. This is my sassy, sassy tassel song. Well now, tell me the story about this one. I see you've um, moved on from the, the blocks. Well, yes, I did. Here's why. Because I grew up and then I got married. And then my wife said, why don't you play with blocks anymore? Build me a house. And she walloped me. <laughs> so, Apparently this poor man's getting walloped for playing with blocks and then for not playing with blocks and building her his wife a house. Oh, poor guy. Anyway, this is a cute one. Sad story, cute tassel. <laughs> I'll sell that one. Oh no, here we go again. <laughs> this one, however, this one's cute. This one is, it was made by someone else. <laughs> I like this, it's kind of like a, what you would put like flowers in this nosegay is that what you call that this cone right it's not a cone of shame it's a cone of what rhymes with shame fame claim cone of lame no no not lame yeah it's a cone of a cone of pain no um anyway we've got a cute little cone open work a little bit of bonus hair in there Nice little flower on it. It looks like a little ghost or a jellyfish or squid. Anyway, um, this is a cute one. It needs a little wipe down. It feels a bit grimy, but yeah, this is a cute one. I'll sell that. And we've got some earrings here. Those are cute little hoopy doopy earrings. Yeah, some rings, some nice little rings that are Yep, uh, I'll probably put those in a lot. Then we've got these little rings. Those will probably just go to a lot too. Well, who do we have in here? Let's find out. Hmm. I have a feeling you were tangled and somebody said, I don't think so. Not today, Satan. What are we gonna do? There's one edge. Okay, cool. So we've got this necklace that's got these festooning chains and pearls. That's pretty cute, kind of a bib style. That is one I will certainly sell. I like it. Back in the bag you go. I can see you getting tangled with everything under the sun. Oh, pretty. More bonus here, more bonus here. Okay, oh, it's another J. Crew. We're on J. Crew fire today. These are magnificent. Get out of here, here. They're Rivoli stones. Oh, you're too far away. So these are Rivoli. Uh, they're plastic, you know. Look at how many prongs that is. I guess J. Crew got tired of their stones popping out. And they're like, okay, we tried three, we tried four, we tried five even. Now we're gonna go with 27. These will not lose their stones, period. I won't rest until I've got, I don't know how many, I'm not gonna count them. But as you can see, goodness gracious, all oh, this bonus here. Those Rivoli stones have stayed put. This one I will definitely sell too. I think that that is a pretty necklace with lots of bling, bling. Then we've got this chick, look at her. Hang on, we need to get closer. She's got her basket. A tisket, a tasket. I will definitely sell her. She's got mixed metal. She's got a basket. I mean, probably silver. Do we have a mark somewhere? At first when I saw her, I thought she didn't have a, a, a hoop a, to hang her from, and then I realized, oh no, it's her hand. Cool. I will sell her. I think she's awesome. And then a solo earring that says, with you. Interesting.
enjoyed. I definitely got some really good stuff to sell out of this thread up box, so I'm pretty happy about that. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.